Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices and it's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 10th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon and uh, the link is down below. So let's start by looking at the S&P 500 and this was a very interesting day. So market was expected to fall before the jobs numbers came out and when they were released uh, everybody was really surprised they are looking for around a million uh, jobs in non, non pay farm payroll and uh, it was actually down at 200k so uh, yes that was a major shock to the market and uh, unemployment rates uh, actually increased so uh, that was not very good and um, it had a major effect on for example the current the, um, the foreign exchange market but also indices especially the nasdaq main reason for that is because uh, the their fears are at the moment that the u.s economy is uh, doing really well which is technically isn't doing really well um, and that uh, the federal reserve will basically be changing their monetary policy in order to increase interest rates in order to uh, to um in order to uh, to calm the market so it doesn't overheat and therefore the growth that we have been seeing the last uh, year that will basically start to uh, to diminish but at this current stage uh, monetary policy will most likely stay intact and they will not touch the interest rate uh, for a very long time and therefore expectations are now that uh, indices stocks um, equities will basically continue uh, increasing as there will be very cheap money to uh, to basically buy stocks so at this current stage we will look at the, the s p 500 and uh, as you can see we are getting very overstretched here we are trading at 4232 so we're trading at above um 4200 and uh, that is a very bullish shine we are significantly overstretched here but uh, this can go much higher before uh, it pulls back if it were to pull back they will most likely find major uh, support at the fifth at the middle of the bullish band if you look at the rsi it's on the edge of being overbought but uh, this can go up towards 80 before pulling back significantly we can see right here how much it did rally before uh, basically pulling back towards the middle so long-term target here will most likely be 4,400 and that is going to be the target in the long run. If you look at the other technical indicators, we can see that the uh, CCI is bullish, the stochastic is bullish and the MACD is still flat at this current stage. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones is at an all-time high. We are approaching 35,000. We're trading at uh, 34. Uh, 34 1762 and uh, yes it's uh, all-time highs for the for the dow jones if you look at technical indicators they are very bullish indeed we are significantly overstretched here and we are significantly overbought so pullback at this point is kind of expected but we'll probably push this all the way up towards the target here before pulling back so uh, monday is going to be inter interesting but uh, uh, yes, pullbacks will most likely find major support down here at the 34,000. So let's look at the Nasdaq. So Nasdaq was expected to, to fall significantly, but we found major support down here at the 50 moving average this week. We tested it actually twice and then we rallied. So we got all the way up towards the middle of the bullish band before pulling back uh, quite a bit and now we're trading at 13,700 give or take if you look at technical indicators they are all turning around MACD is, um, is still very bearish stochastic is, is bullish CCI is becoming bullish and the RSI is flat at this current stage break above the middle of the bullish band open the door all the way up to 14,136 break below the 50 well then we can see 13,000 and probably all the way down to the 200 moving average. So let's look at the DAX. DAX, very similar here. We fell towards the 50, offered massive support here, and then we rallied all the way up towards the top of the Bollinger Band. Technical indicators are all turning around. Even the MACD is uh, 
probably one or two trading days away from crossing the signal line indicating bullish momentum and then we'll go back and target 16,000. to the downside 50 moving average will most likely be the massive floor in this market so let's look at the uk 100 or FTSE. so here it's getting fairly out of hand uh, a pullback is going to be expected here it looks very similar to what we saw um, just a month ago where we rallied outside took one day and then we collapsed towards um, the 20 exponential didn't get really all the way down there then we rallied again and then we collapsed towards the middle of the bullish band so that is the way this has been behaving we can see it here as well and also here and uh, when we get outside of the bullish band and we are overbought then it is a warning that this may snap back towards support Otherwise, technical indicators are very bullish. Support should be, first support should be around 7,000 7, or the middle of the bullish band at 6,959. So let's look at China 50. So China 50 is uh, just hanging around here. So there's not much to say other than that, that uh, 200 moving average is acting as support, 20 exponential is acting as resistant. We need to break to the upside or break to the downside in order to determine where this is going. At the moment, technical indicators are favoring the downside. We have tested the 200 moving average several times, but so we have the 20 exponential and the 50 and have been rejected every single time. This will, the 50 will move this way, 20 exponential will move this way and the 200 moving this way. And at this current stage, it looks like that the 20 is going to cross the 200 moving average and that will be a very bearish sign for uh, this indice. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.